Can you give me more hair? I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Are you going to tell me to do it again? <laughs> So the truth of the matter is, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have an act, per se. We don't do anything, per se. Uh, per se. Uh, so we thought about what do we do with these little 15 minute kind of vaudeville slots here for Woodstock. In order to match the talent that we going to be Match the talent, because we don't have talent, is the real truth of the matter. Um, Kevin, you decided you might try uh, Tuvan throat singing. I've been working on my Tuvan throat singing. <laughs> Damn good at it. Mr. Bungle's hair was messy too. 
Phil didn't want to be like Mr. Bungo. He decided to shave off his hair and then cut his hand off. Inside the boys' room, Phil was surprised to see some of his friends washing their hands, too. Did he? Phil washed his hands well, with lots of soap. And he decided to take some more soap home for a new kind of hand. When he was finished, he threw the paper towel in the basket where it belonged. And then he made sure that his hair looked neat. He was embarrassed how long and unkempt it had become. <laughs> Phil and his friends were ready for lunch. Just in time for class to begin again. Uh, boys will regret all their instincts to be boys. <laughs> there was a line of children waiting to get into the lunchroom when Phil got there. He saw some boys he knew at the front of the line. So he did his Miss America in front. <laughs> but Phil didn't want to break into line as Mr. Bungo did. Bungo, Bungo, That was the fair thing to do. He would see his other friends inside the lunchroom. From his seat at the nerd's table. <laughs> the line moved very fast. And soon Phil was inside. First he picked up his tray. You know who else picked up his tray? <laughs> no. <laughs> Really. <laughs> he got his silverware. Just before Harpo Mark stole it all. He put his knife, fork, and spoon neatly on the tray. And then he slid his tray along. Phil tried to whistle a tune to keep his mind off Mr. Bungo. <laughs> Cafeteria. It tasted good and was good for him, too. My favorite vegetable is ketchup. <laughs> Phil decided to take the hot lunch. She enjoyed flogging it to the kids who couldn't afford it. Number <laughs> two. And he knew what else he wanted. No. That no. Alice took the last time on the trip. Maybe there was more milk. So he said, Yo! May I please have some milk? <laughs> Phil remembered to say, May I? And please. That was very polite. Yes, there was more milk. After you around the lungs, kid, this was out in the sun. <laughs> Milk. Phil had good manners. He didn't want to be like Mr. Bungle in the lunchroom. Mr. Bungle. The cake looked delicious. <laughs> At the end of the line, the lunchroom supervisor said she had noticed how polite Phil was, and she smiled at him. She wouldn't smile at a Mr. Bungle. Hurry, hurry, Ed. I don't like the cake. <laughs> <laughs> pulled out his chair quietly and sat down. He knew his friends wouldn't like a noisy Mr. Bungle at their table. There was someone Phil liked. Freddy. Freddy Bungle, no! <laughs> it looked good. Freddy had a sandwich, an apple, a cookie, and milk. You know, I'd give you a cookie because you wanted you to like him. That was before Phil began to eat. He always put a napkin on his lap. So did Freddy. Copycat. <laughs> Everyone liked Freddy. He was very polite. For example, if he had food in his mouth when someone talked to him, he always took time to chew the food with his mouth closed and swallow before he answered. With a string of obscenities. <laughs> Straight and tall, Freddy usually sat. Uh, Freddy kept his feet on the floor, too. Hello, Freddy. <laughs> Bill would rather be like Freddy than like Mr. Bungo. Another polite person everyone liked was Alice. Played by Hayden Panettiere. <laughs> this protected her friends at the table from any germs. But she had his favorite. <laughs> A boy ran past their table. You shouldn't run in the lunchroom. Only Mr. Bungle would do that. That boy would hang himself in the bathroom later that night. His friends wouldn't like to have Mr. Bungle at their table. Then lunchtime wouldn't be as much fun as it is. We 